This is the story of how I broke the heart of a girl who really loved me. And I'm not proud of what I'm about to tell you, but here goes. It all started in freshman year of high school. I was living on Mayotte Island, which is a super beautiful French island. And unlike all the stylish guys at my school, I was pretty lame in comparison. Not only was I overweight, as in 95 kilograms, I was also one of the dumbest kids in class. Basically, I was a bit of a loser. And because of this, no one really wanted to be my friend. I was always eating lunch alone, and not one kid would sit at my table. This went on for a whole year. And by the time summer break came, I decided I couldn't take it anymore. Something had to change. So while everyone at school was vacationing and partying and enjoying the summer, I was working on something else. I set a goal for myself to lose weight before we went back to school. And I was really determined. I did a lot of research to figure out the best way, watching lots of YouTube videos and reading articles on Google about losing weight. And believe it or not, I stumbled across a really simple way. All I had to do was drink a lot of water and eat less, and I'd easily lose weight. At least that's what the article said. So I gave it a go. And I'm not going to lie, it was tough. Some days I'd have killed for a soda, and there were moments where I gave in to my cravings and binged on a liter of ice cream. But then I'd think about the fact I had no friends and how lonely life was, and my motivation would come back. By the end of summer break, I'd done it. I couldn't believe it. I'd lost 26 kilograms in total. So I was down to 69 kilograms, and for a 1.85 meter tall guy, that is very slim. That first day back at school, all eyes were on me. Every single girl suddenly noticed me, and some of them even tried to speak to me. One girl asked if I was a new kid, and I almost laughed. Did I look that different? Even though girls were suddenly interested in me, I wasn't interested in them at all. That wasn't my goal. My goal was to get friends, and it happened very quickly. Pretty soon, I had a big group of friends, and because I felt more confident, my grades also started to get better. All of a sudden, I understood what socializing felt like, and I got invited to parties for the first time in my life. At one of these parties, me and my new group of friends were joking around and decided to make a bet to see who could get Najma, the prettiest girl in school, to go out with them. Najma is very petite, but she has such a beautiful body. And don't get me started on her face. Her eyes are this deep chestnut color, and her skin is so clear. Plus, she has these really cute cheeks that always blush pink when she smiles. Honestly, she's gorgeous, and every single guy in our school was crazy about her. But even after lots of attempts, none of them had managed to get her attention. Now that I was feeling good about myself and looking pretty decent, I decided to give it a go. I wanted to win her over. One day, I approached her at the bus stop. She was standing there on her own, and I just casually walked over to her and started making conversation. We got on the bus and we chatted the whole way until the bus reached her stop. Just before she got off, I asked for her number. And to my complete surprise, she actually gave it to me. Jackpot! On the one hand, I was super happy that my first attempt to ever flirt with a girl had ended so successfully. But on the other hand, I knew I was about to do the worst thing ever. Play with a girl's heart just to win a stupid bet. I really regret what I did back then, but I had no other choice. I was scared that if I failed at this one thing, my friends would ditch me, and I'd be a loser again. There was no turning back now, and no room for failure either. I would succeed at this, just like I'd succeeded at losing weight. I gave her a call and we chatted for like three hours. It was amazing. After that, we spoke every night on the phone and became really close. Two weeks later, we were an item. And it was official. I had a girlfriend. On our first date, we met at the mall. It was a nice place close to the beach, and after getting some pizza, we headed down there for a walk, and we kissed. My first kiss ever. I will never forget that moment for as long as I live. It's one of the best memories we shared together, and it'll be carved in my heart forever. That's how special it was. Everything was going well, but after a few months of being a couple, I slowly started to drift away from her. I don't know what got into me. I just started ignoring her calls and even ignored her at school, too. She tried to sit with me at lunch, but I always said there was no space, but that I'd call her later. I was seriously being mean to her. Well, eventually, she started to think something was wrong, and at first, she suspected I was dating someone else behind her back. 
But later, the real truth came out. She found out that I was only dating her because of a bet. Some guy in my class called Lara told her. That was such a bummer, but I wasn't too surprised since Lara was my worst enemy. He's been constantly making my life a living hell, and guess he couldn't just let me catch a break. Of course, she broke up with me. A few days after she found out the truth, she called me to end things. As soon as we hung up, I felt so bad and realized that I really did have proper feelings for her. At first, it had just been about the bet and impressing my friends, but there was no denying that I legit liked this girl. I missed her so much, and it quickly became obvious that she was missing me too, because one night I received a message from her on Facebook that she must have sent to me by accident. It said, Oh, I just miss him so much. Even though he hurt me, I know he's a good guy. I don't think I'll ever be able to get over him. I caught a glimpse of it on the notification, but when I opened it, the text was removed. She must have meant to send it to her friend, which is a bit awkward. So I acted like I didn't see it, but now... At least I found out she still had feelings for me. By then, though, it was too late. I'd moved to mainland France for university, but I missed her so much. It's been 10 months since then, and I still have feelings for her. We got back in contact and chat three times a week, even though she's still on Mayotte Island and I'm in France. But she thinks it's better if we just stay friends now, as she's not ready to be in a relationship with me again. She's just graduated from high school, and I really don't know what to do. I just want to be with her again, but do you think I've ruined my chances forever?